So we're parking the big van, right? And this couple behind us parks, this old couple. I said, you speak English? She says, a little, right? I said, can I park here? He says, yes. We compliment how beautiful where we are. And I said, do you live here? And we point to one of these homes over here, right? Which are right on the river. He says, I live here. And so he lets us into the home. Guys, we go into their backyard and they have the most picturesque landscaping you've ever seen. They have the most picturesque backdrop in their backyard. A complete view of like six different windmills. feeling so much better today. We got a full night's sleep last night. Oh, I don't know about Which is amazing how it <laughs> turned. <laughs> Besides maybe turn. Yesterday was a bit of a fog. You know, that first day of jet lag can be rough. We did pretty well, but it felt a little foggy yesterday. We just got a couple of hours, each of us, on the plane. I know I can't complain because I had a lay down seat. I definitely had the very best setup, but I still only think I got four hours of sleep. And then we had to stay up all day yesterday. But we had a really great first day. We had a ton of fun. We were expecting to get a minivan when we got to the airport. And we ended up in this electric charged Mercedes. Well, this still is a minivan, it's just a big old fat Mercedes. Oh, look kids. <laughs> look at that. This is what it's like being on vacation with Justin. He's in dad mode right now, pointing out everything. Squirrel. Okay, so we gotta talk about this van. It's actually quite funny because they don't have a lot of big cars out here hey, in no, Europe. I gotta catch up, but look at the colored houses right here. Ashton, look. This is cool. Yeah, oh, like you just don't see stuff like this. So anyway, finding a car that would fit all of us plus our luggage was a bit of a challenge. So Justin was in there, they were super nice trying to help us figure it out. And I'm out in the parking garage talking to the kids about what a station wagon is because that's what I grew up on. And that was before minivans. Minivans were like the hot new thing. But station wagons when I was really little and I was telling them how they had this really cool backward seat in them. And they were like, what? And I was showing them pictures. And then Turn walks over to this Mercedes. Justin calls it a minivan. This thing is huge, it is not a minivan. And he's like, Mom, you called it. It has a backwards seat. It's not like the station wagon, but literally the kids are facing each other back there. <laughs> so they're loving a, it. So we're like back to back with this seat right here. Never been in a van like this. Definitely a cool new experience. No, so Turin goes and looks at the back of the car. He's like, this is like, this is like a station wagon. And then dad comes over with the keys and unlocks it. <laughs> we were pretty excited to get this car. sausage which is a traditional Dutch dish according to the waitress and I was telling them there's a lot of German influence I think I mean if anybody from Holland you can correct me on this but since they're so close together they've got similar food I grew up on a lot of this stuff in Milwaukee there's a lot of Germans that immigrated from Germany and so there's you know that's like the brats and the at family parties growing up we had raw beef and onion which Justin ordered at the restaurant last night I personally won't eat that it's kind of fun when you go places to try their traditional foods Ava on the other hand ordered something that was not on the menu. Yeah, it was the most luxurious thing ever. <laughs> She asked for bread and jam. They don't have any jam, but they have something a little better. The most luxurious Nutella. Nutella. And then I got this warm brie. She recommended it. It looks amazing. These tiny little cars are everywhere. <laughs> no, it's two seater. It's an electric. Oh, that's insane. Seater. That's two seater. Oh, that's seats. for their dog. That's... No, it's a dog. Oh, that's for a dog. It's one dog. One no, but that that's one. a two seater. Yeah. Dad. 
They're dying over these cars because you can literally park them on the sidewalk. <laughs> They're so convenient. We saw the most smallest one. It was so small with one seat. You're so tiny. It's true. It was smaller than that one. Yep, smaller than that. But they can park where cars can't park. No. Yeah. Yeah, they, they park on the sidewalk. They actually have parking spaces for those kinds of cars. Oh, yeah. I don't see them hitting that kind of car. I would love to see your six, four, six, five body get in one of those. <laughs> I wouldn't. When we went to the city, there was like just this little parking spot for it. It was cute. Okay, so we just had kind of a true, what would we call it, guys? Cultural experience over here in beautiful Holland, Netherlands. We're not in Amsterdam at the moment. Lindsay, where are we? Jean Zanzi. Jean Zid. Jean Zanz. Jean Zanz. It's where there's a thousand windmills in apparently all of Holland now. 15 of which are actually where we're at. It's the second. That's a big cat. That's a lion. Ava, come here. It's a lion of a cat. So apparently there are. That's a big cat. That's a big cat. Major scrolling. Oh, guys, this is what happens on vacation. There's clusters of windmills throughout the country. 15 are clustered here. 19 is the largest cluster somewhere else. So this is probably the second largest cluster in the country. So we're parking the big van, right? And this couple behind us parks, this old couple, very sweet, like grandparent age, right? This is the nicest. You can tell they just, you could just see tenderness and sweetness in their eyes, right? I said, do you speak English? She says, a little, right? With, a, with an accent. I said, can I park you? He says, yes. Anyway, so we compliment how beautiful where we are. And I said, do you live here? And we point to one of these homes over here, right? Which are right on the river. He says, I live here. And so he lets us into the home. Guys, we go into their backyard and they have the most picturesque landscaping you've ever seen. They have the most picturesque backdrop in their backyard. A complete view of like six different windmills, right? So we go back there. We hang out with this sweet couple, Peter and Eiffel. And they are the sweetest couple. They have a son. He was a boat builder for a living. Sold that company and now lives in a beautiful, beautiful home here in the Netherlands. And so we hung out with them for probably 45 minutes in their backyard. He showed me pictures of his boats. He's a car guy. Anyway, got some cool drone footage of it. Super cool memory for these kids to have looking back on just meeting people from other countries. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Okay, Melly's Stroop Waffles was a must try. Oreo. We're trying all the different kinds. We got Oreo, mm. Justin's got Biscoff, Ava got Smarties, Smarties, and I got one called Cookie Crunch. It's in there. They said it's like a caramel, brittle, cinnamon, hazelnut. Said it was their favorite.
turn around and face the audience. Yeah, that's pretty much, well, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, you want to face me. You got to turn around first. Yeah, that was your intro, man. Yeah, we're going to do the thing now. We, this is show business. We got to like, we got to make a thing about it. They don't know you yet. You already introduced me. We had to introduce you. Perfect. There you go, Justin. Hold on to those. And we're going to have you practice with the knives one time, then going to introduce the last bit of the trick, the part that makes this something you can't see at another show. Kids, keep in mind, I am a professional. Don't try this at home. Don't have strangers throw knives at you. If you try any of this stuff, do it at school. There's a bigger audience there. All right, Justin, throw me a knife when you're ready, just like you did with the torch. Perfect. And one more time. All right, you're ready to go. One more time, man. All right, cool. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, you see, we got a cross breeze this way, so definitely, definitely don't throw it extra that way. If anything, try and compensate a little bit to the side but with the grand finale trick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and a costume change, if you understand. Take a step forward, Justin. Go ahead and throw me the first knife on the count of three, or whenever you feel like it. <laughs> I'm not going to argue. Got a knife in each hand still, and I'm not in a position for arguing. One kick, and I'm down. <laughs> All right. Knife number two on the audience's count of one. one. Two, three. Perfect. All right. Now this time, after it lands in my hand, Justin, you're going to turn around and take a bow. Okay, the audience will go wild because none of them wanted to do this. I can promise you that. Other than those two young girls that already left. Short attention spans. <laughs> Here we go. All together now. One, two, three. Ah! Let's get a big round of applause for Justin. Good work, sir. Excellent. And now here comes the moment we've been waiting for. Seven years of preparation in this trick. Nice and loud. If you're ready to see it, guys, say yeah! Yeah! It's Clap! She's just so independent. Where are you going? <laughs> Quick little update for us all here. Ashton and I are trekking it back to go get the car. We're here right in smack dab in beautiful central Amsterdam. Actually in the main square, they call it the dam, I think is what they called it. Yep. So Landon has had a couple seizures today, one of which was by the windmills and another one just recently. So rather than making him walk, by the way, walking wise, I think he's taken almost 20 something thousand steps today. So he's a well, boss. I could do so much steps if I had my walk right. on. Totally a boss, but Ash and I get the privilege of walking back to the car Why Turin helps Lindsay with landing down the stairs and Ava hangs with them. But guys, I just love this. Look at that. We got the train in the background here. Europe this, is so cool. I just love Europe. This guy's first time to Europe. Yep, it's my first time. Not Lindsay's. As you guys know that I served a LDS Mormon mission in Italy for two years and then Lindsay and I went back to Italy actually when we were first married for a couple months. So I've always loved Europe. I think it's beautiful and gorgeous. But something my dad instilled in us long ago is a love for traveling and that's what we're gonna do with these little kids, aren't we? Yep. So yeah, I think we're European fans. Back here? Yeah. I don't know what he said, but he said get out of the way. <laughs>